Alrighty, what's going on guys, it's Project Game here, bringing you guys a commentary that's not really related to gaming fully, but it is about how I stream and uh, good stuff like that. So a lot of people have been asking me and tweeting at a lot of the uh, the Yosh uh, live stream people of how to stream on Macs, you know, how do you do it, what programs do you need, what are the best settings and all that good stuff. So I figured I'd make a commentary to make it easier on a lot of people so I don't have to keep explaining it and there's a lot less tweeting about it and a lot of questions and stuff. So I'll go over all of it. If you still have questions after that, feel free to message me or do what you gotta do to get me the questions question I'll gladly answer it for you so we'll start this right off um, all the applications and all the programs that you need, that you need will be in the description um, but if you have any questions as I said just ask me but you'll be able to download them all there and I'll have a short description of each one uh, just in case you don't understand something in the commentary but uh, hopefully this records all right I went ahead and got screen flow just so I can make it nice and smooth as the last commentary the frame rate dropped and it didn't really come out as nice as I wanted so that you guys probably wouldn't be able to understand it the way it was so when I got it so we'll start off right with ITV now a lot of you guys already have ITV if if you are on the Mac again this is for Mac if you're on PC I'll link a good tutorial for you guys but this is only Mac users so to start off you're gonna want your ITV component input I just put in the top right of the screen but anywhere you want it on the page is fine the position really doesn't matter this is just kind of where I like to sit it and where I like to put it um, as for how big it is you can have it different sizes um, I usually have it under half size for the quality to be the best but I'll put it under normal just so you guys can see it actually I'll keep it under half so it's not as big um, Half size is going to give you the best quality, so it's not too small, but it's not too big, and it'll keep that quality up while you're streaming. So as I said, I put that in the top right corner, and then we'll head into the next step. So the next step is within your cam twist. With ITV, you don't really need to change any of the settings. I left mine the same, and it worked out fine, but if for some reason your ITV isn't working correctly, um, just make sure that you have them all as the default settings, and if you still have questions, feel free to ask me. So the next you have cam twist. Now cam twist is the program that records your ITV. Um, the first thing that you want to do is go into your desktop plus, which is right here, and double click that next you're gonna go to confined application window now what that allows you to do is just pick a part of your screen and it'll automatically record that part that way you don't have to like go through each thing and pick certain sections and stuff like that so it's a lot easier so once you do that you're gonna head in ITV component input for the input section above it you're just gonna want to click filter out untitled windows what this allows for is that if you put your mouse over the screen or say you drag something over it it won't pop up in your stream if you unclick that it also works perfectly fine and your mouse will appear on the screen so some people do like that but I prefer not to so it's nice and clean um, next you have select capture area now for this what you're going to do is just click it and just drag it to the size you want I like to just drag mine down so it's nice 1280 by 720 and I just cover the area that I needed and then I click done selecting um, now you're actually done in campus at this point we're just gonna go through some of the settings real quick and a few other options and then we'll head into the next step so for your options you're gonna want to go to cam twist and then preferences now under preferences or preference Preferences, you're gonna head into general now um, the only settings you need to change in this are general you shouldn't be touching the apps or the devices that can really mess it up so I'd recommend just sticking away from those so under general you're gonna to want to do audio output system default uh, unless you have something else that you wanted under I just leave it as that and it, it you know it works fine for me next you have 30 uh, frames per second now you really don't need any higher and I would suggest that unless you have a Mac Pro not a MacBook Pro but an actual Mac Pro like the big ones um, you're gonna to want to leave it at 30 frame rate if you go above that unless you have the best internet in the world it's gonna start lagging and it won't look good next you have your video size just for size I would just do 1280 by 720 that's not actually what it's gonna look like on your stream this is just what you're pretty much exporting it as but you still have to you know render it and stuff like that um, I'm comparing it to a video so that is it in here so just leave those settings and that is all now next you have adding watermarks now I'm just gonna cover this really quick as it really doesn't have to do with the tutorial but I know a lot of you guys are gonna want to know so I'll add it in anyways so for watermarks you're just gonna go to add and then under add whoops didn't mean to do that you don't actually click add first just wait a second but you're gonna type an image on the search bar now under image you can just click image overlay and just double click that now it'll pop in there add would be not double clicking and you could just click that instead of double clicking it but I accidentally did that so now here uh, once you're in here you're gonna want to drag in your image now I had a problem with this for a while because I didn't realize that you could just drag and drop but the wonderful thing about Max is that it allows you to do that in a lot of programs so I'll just bring up a quick Yosh logo and I'll drop it right in there whoops spelling whoops Yosh all right 
Hopefully I can get it nice. There we go. So you're just going to drag it and drop and you're going to want to make sure it's a PNG so that it doesn't show up. Now a lot of people don't know what to do at this point as you really can't see where the logo is. So what you can do is head into your cam twist and go into, I believe it's under, yeah, it's under tools and then you just go to preview. Now the preview did pop up on my other screen because that's where I had it before. But once in preview, you can drag it around the screen to the position where you really want it and then of course adjust the scale and adjust the size and all that good stuff. So I'll just kind of leave it in the corner for now as uh, this was just a small, tutorial on it but you can add a whole bunch of different watermarks i like to put my name i like to put a yosh logo uh you can put a lot of different things so really experiment with the effects section um there's a lot of cool stuff in there as you can see you can scroll down um just different effects that you can overlay over the video so that is it in camtos at this point and we'll head into the next step so next step is within your uh, uh flash media live encoder now this is downloaded from adobe is it a free it is a free program but you will need to make a profile on adobe if you don't already have one to download it um as i said it is free free but it does take up a lot of computer space um, on your computer while you're streaming now what that means is you can't really have a lot of other programs open you notice right now I have Safari open I have Photoshop I have uh, Skype as well and then ScreenFlow if I was streaming I wouldn't have all of, the, uh, have all of these open I'd probably exit them um, just because of it, it takes up so much CPU while you're streaming that you really won't be able to do much else occasionally you can have Skype up but unless you have really good internet or really good Mac um, it's usually not going to allow you to do that now before we open Flash Media encoder one thing that I found out when I was trying to stream and it actually took me a while is at first it wouldn't let me stream it kept blocking my thing my fla uh, flash media encoder kept crashing and the reason that you need that it kept crashing is because you actually need flash player now I thought I already had flash player because it does come pre download on the Mac but you actually need to go and download it from Adobe even if you already have it for some reason one second that's my mic on Xbox I'll go ahead and turn that down, sorry. Um, so you need to go and download it again. For some reason, it's uh, within the streaming. It, it, it'll, it makes you do it, so I'm not exactly sure why, but we'll get right into it now. So you don't actually need Flash Player open. It just needs to be on your computer. Again, I'm not really familiar with what that exactly does. I believe it's with watching videos on the computer and stuff like that. So get right into the Flash Media Encoder. Now, I will, you can just say no thank you to this. I will have uh, a screenshot of this in the description so you can kind of match your settings to it. I have a 27 inch uh, Mac with, I believe it's 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is the highest you can get without a Mac Pro. So if you have something very similar to that, and I believe I have 30 download or upload, and then 5 upload or download, I'm not sure which one is which. Um, so if you have stuff similar to this, I would definitely recommend going ahead and just doing the same setup as me. Um, I'll just cut that out right now. Um, I would definitely recommend just doing the same settings as they will match mine. It will come up as the same quality. So first thing you want to do is head into, of course, your Flash Media Encoder and go to Device. Now, when you open this up for the very first time, I believe it would just be under Built-in Eyesight. Now, the problem I had for a while is without Flash Player, it won't recognize Cam Twist. So once you have that all fixed up and it appears, just click Cam Twist. Next thing you want to do is make sure this, that this is on Custom so that it's not preset to anything. Next thing is format format should just do be 8.264 um that's what i leave it as i haven't really experimented with uh vp6 so i just leave it as that next you have your frame rate frame rate i just do mine is uh 30 frames per second or 29.97 um people really don't need to be watching much higher than that unless you're on a pc and you can stream it you know 59 frames per second but i'd really just leave it as that it's enjoyable just to watch the stream you really don't need that many frames and it also will start lagging if you get it too high Make sure you have your input size. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, that's really small. Now, for my input size, I have to do 640 by 360. If I go any higher, my stream starts to lag really bad, my computer slows down, and the stream quality just really won't look good. Now, if you are not a partner on Twitch or on Just TV or whatever site you stream on, this will be the default size. You won't be able to go higher than this, even if you do. Um, it'll look a little bit better, but it really won't change. Um, if you are a partner, you can do higher quality, which is when you would want to upgrade at that point. But I will be getting a Mac Pro soon. So I can experiment with that and tell you guys on that but I would just leave it as this for now it's fine quality it looks good you can check on my stream it's not blurry it's just not the crispest thing ever so next you have your bitrate now your bitrate mine is just 1800 um, it works fine for me I'm not too familiar with how bit rates exactly work so I kind of experimented and found that this was the best one for me and then of course your output size is the same as your input size under 640 by 360 now once again these settings are what works for me so experiment with your own um, computer and see what works for you so next you have your device now my device I have under my Yeti um, microphone 
this should be whatever microphone you use as the audio coming out of your computer will be caught by that and it will kind of push into it um, but you can experiment with what exactly you want to use depending on how good you want your audio or if you don't want your voice to come through or if you only want your voice to come through so experiment with those but I just do my standard microphone so you could have a Yeti you could have a snowball you know whatever you have next you have format now under format you want AAC um, I haven't really experimented with uh, exper uh, yeah okay I haven't really worked with mp3 very much on it so I would just leave the format as that um, it, once again you can experiment with whatever you want channels just leave it as mono you don't need an under stereo sample rate now your sample rate you want it 44,100 uh, I wouldn't really change that I would really just leave it as that even if you are experimenting next you have your bit rate just leave that as 112 uh, it doesn't really need to be any higher than that um, you can kind of move it around a little bit but I would really keep it around there so next you have the actual section we're actually going to be doing the streaming um, so for your URL you just want rtmp um, colon slash slash live dot justin dot tv slash app I will put this in the description so you can just paste it in that streams to the justin tv site next you want to go to twitch tv slash broadcast I'll drag it over right now for my other page under here you just want to go to show key now this is my key if I click that so I won't do it but under show key it'll give you the key that you need and we'll talk about that in a second but you can actually download a lot of the programs you need right here you can go ahead and download your flash me encoder um, as well as wirecast if you want to go ahead and buy it it is a expensive compared to flash meaning coder but if you really want to stream great I would definitely recommend going ahead and just grabbing wirecast if you have the money laying around um, or any occasion like that so once you get that stream key it'll pop up and you just copy and paste it and you're gonna put it right here under stream now you don't need to put in backup URL um, you can do it if you want to I'm not exactly sure what that does I believe it'd be like if you're streaming to a secondary site but I only stream twitch so I really don't need to do that so you're gonna put your stream key in there and then just hit connect um, once you do that it'll connect you right there and it will connect you to your stream I'm gonna allow you to stream to the site so after that you are done um, just make sure that your settings are very similar to mine and then all you need to do is hit start now I want to hit start now because it'll make my computer go really slow since I have a lot of things open but once you do that you'll just hit start and you'll be all done from that point it'll start streaming so once again I definitely recommend you guys experiment with what programs you use um, if you want to go ahead and get wirecast or anything like that but if you're really just looking for a nice basic stream that comes out with pretty good quality and uh, people can enjoy I would definitely recommend using this setup so if you guys did enjoy it I'm HD Project Gaming leave a like if you enjoyed any questions just hit me up on my Twitter and everything will be in the description so you can hit me up wherever that you need to um, and that is all so again thank you guys for watching I'm HD Project Gaming and I'll see you guys later